version of the Ford E817T truck to the Air Ministry. A series of trials were held in September at Studland Bay in Dorset. After exhaustive testing, the truck was chosen for use with the Royal Air Force. This was the start of a massive production run for County, which is to see over 14,000 military versions of its trucks into service during the Second World War. Although County was working at full capacity to meet the wartime demand for its trucks, Ernest Tapp still found time to design a lightweight one-man tank, which he called the Mechanical Infantryman. The prototype tank, seen here on trial, was based on a Bren gun carrier chassis and was designed to give close armoured support to infantry fighting in villages. It had an armoured compartment, which could be elevated by a vacuum system, allowing the gunner to fire over walls and hedges. The poor driver, who must have felt like a sardine in a can, steered with his feet. An improved two-man version of the tank, which became known as the Praying Mantis, was introduced in 1943. On this machine, the armoured compartment, which was fitted with a periscope for the driver's vision, could be raised hydraulically to its full elevation in just over three seconds. It was armed with two Bren guns, which could be fired by remote control. As the war drew to a close, the county's immediate concern was to find new products to fill the gap that would be left when the production run for the military trucks finally came to an end.